Okay, this video is going to outline how to add WMS links. And just to remind you that WMS stands for Web Map Service. So WMS links are access to imagery and other data layers from a server from Data BC. We don't actually have this data on site, but we can use it in our maps. So this, we, um, this, the source for all the links is through a um, Excel spreadsheet that you can find on J. And I would suggest that you add it to your GIS folder and you just leave it there, not embedded within um, an actual assignment, but um, somewhere that you can access it every week. So here it is. It's a .csv, which is a sort of an um, Excel-compatible um, file type. Okay, so I'm going to close that up. So now what you can do is, uh, the first step is always to add it to, um, just slide it over, or you could add it through using this, but add it to your, um, uh, to your map, okay? And then you can right click, go open, and this is the best way. Don't open it up as an Excel file separately and then copy paste. We've had a lot of issues with that. This is the, the fail proof way. So you're going to scroll down to we're going to be using imagery. And now there's all sorts of other data. Look, there's geology and soils. We should check that out someday. But for now we're going to pick WMS imagery and you're going to select the link, right click, copy. Now the next step here is to um, move up all the way till you get to this folder here. And here you're going to use GIS servers, add WMS server. And here you're going to go control V for copy paste or right click paste will work as well. And then you always hit get layers. And then you'll see all the layers that this BC imagery WMS um, connection contains and click OK. So now you should be able to navigate through that link and add the mosaic, for instance, to um, GVRD East, which is the one that overlaps with a lot of our um, project areas and just hit close. Don't worry about that. You can say don't warm me again in this session. Great. And there's the imagery. So now you could zoom in, have a look. Um, if uh, you were looking for BCIT campus and you don't know exactly where it is rather than moving around in here, if you had another layer you could just um, right click and zoom to that layer. So why don't we add a layer right now. So Polar Connections, uh, GIS, why don't I add my fitness trail data, trail, add, okay, right click, zoom to layer, there it is. Okay, now one more thing to point out here is, remember here we're in the table of contents and we're listing by source, so you can see where things are coming from. Um, on your H drive, etc. But the other option too is you can look at things in the sequence that they are drawn on the map. 